Alright, so this video is just going to be a short one on um, using your calculator for integration. Uh, so, first I'm just going to solve this using fundamental theorem of calculus. So, you've got uh, antiderivative of sine x is negative cosine x. And you're going from 3 pi over 2. I mean, you're going from 0 to 3 pi over 2. And so that's going to equal uh, 3 pi over 2. So that's 0 minus and negative cosine of 0 is uh, 1. So your answer is 1. Now, with the calculator, there's a couple ways that you could go about to solve this one. Um, first, you could just uh, you could just look at the graph of your original function, so sine of x. And then if you hit second, calculate, and then you go down to number 7, then you can actually take the integral from your lower limit would be this number down here on the bottom so zero and then your upper limit in this case would be the three pi over two and it'll actually highlight um, what part from where to where it's taking the integral from <coughs> and then uh, you can also see that it gives the value down here which matches our fundamental theorem of calculus value. Um, there's also another way if you go to math um, math 9 I think this stands for find the integral um, I'm not sure but from there um, the format you go math 9 and then you type in your original function and then you go comma x comma and then your lower limit comma your upper limit and then just make sure all of your parentheses line up one two one two and press enter and it'll tell you what the integral is um, you can also use your calculator to uh, to get a variety of um, you can use your calculator for a variety of ways to find out integrals of other things as well so like say you had um, something like this Oh no, let's not use that one. So you just had something like like that, and you wanted to find the area in here. Say this one was F and this one was G. Then if you uh, if you graph F and then say this is just one. So if you graph f from 0 to 1, that would give you all of this area right here. However, you don't want this you don't want this part because you're only looking for this inside section. So, um if you were to think of taking the integral of g then from 0 to 1 then you would get all of this stuff right here so essentially if you take the integral of f and then subtract the integral of g then you'll get this area that's bounded between the two graphs
Um, just a little skill that might be easier to see with your uh, calculator if you actually are given the functions. Um, but yeah, so far those are the two main uh, methods I've found for using your calculator with integrals. I'm sure there's more, but um, up to this point in the course, both of those methods have been pretty helpful.